Okay, this video is to show rather crudely uh, this Mallory 12 volt vibrator um, that I found in some old tubes. Um, what these things were used for are old uh, radios so that they you could take the 12 volts from a car battery and turn it into you know a couple three four maybe hundred volts uh, that you could use through a transformer of course that you could use for um, an early tube car radio uh, this one I've actually taken out of the case so we can see how it works that's the casing uh, here is the mechanism itself which is which consists of a coil at the top uh, there are three leads on this particular one some of them have four leads uh, this particular one has three um, the leads go to either side of a couple of brushes there's one on this side and there's one on the other side and you might be able to see it there is a uh, there's a little mechanism here that swings back and forth um, as a voltage is applied that little thing in the center that little bar actually goes back and forth like this and it, as it does that it makes contact on this side and then this side and then this side and then this side alternately uh, and you'll see that in just a second uh, the way I have this run is the way I I've seen actually another demonstration from a guy on online but it, um, kind of crudely I have a bunch of D batteries which add up to about actually a little more than a little more than 12 volts or a little more like 14 volts or so um, actually I have a transformer here which is center tap uh, rated at 14 volts on uh, one side um, on each of, one of the sides and then 117 volts on what would have normally been the primary since we're swapping this I guess you would call this the primary and this is the secondary I have my secondary hooked up to my voltmeter um, there's a little capacitor here to try to help smooth out the wave you won't be able to see um, the the AC volts reading that I'm getting but uh, you can see my voltmeters on and I'll I'll just have to tell you the readings since my camera work is going to be rather crude, but at least you'll be able to see how this thing operates and get it focused in there. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to attach one, uh, one lead to one end of this long chain of batteries on the positive and the other lead on the negative. And you see some sparks going there as I started it up, and you can actually hear my voltmeter. I'm reading 239 volts AC, 240 jumping around 235, 232, 236, 233. So it's right there in the 230 to 240 uh, range pretty consistently there, all AC. If I uh, release it, you can see the mechanism there that vibrates. I'll go again here. You can actually see the sparks that happen. And <clears throat> uh, actually when I first opened this thing up, it uh, the reason I opened it up was because, not only to demonstrate it, but because it wasn't working. Um, and what I had to do was <clears throat> take a little file and, uh, and go in between these contacts and, and burnish them so that they would actually make contact. Uh, but anyway, that kind of gives you an idea of what these things are all about and kind of the possibilities. Thinking about possibly <clears throat> making, a, making a tube guitar amp that's run on a 12-volt battery, so... Uh, you'll be able to recharge your 12 volt bat battery, take it out in the field, and actually have a small um, tube guitar amp instead of, you know, most battery powered amps are solid state, so that'd be something interesting. Anyway, that's how that thing works.